Hello and welcome to Tycoons. If the term business aristocracy means anything at all, then my guest today epitomizes it. Though it's not an adjective he's very fond of, the term blue blood is usually used to describe Nasli Wadia. In part, it describes his lineage, his heritage, but it also describes a state of mind. In many ways, the Wadias are part of a generation that should actually have been out of the picture as Indian industry has changed. And Nasli Wadia has been through some very tough times, but he stuck it out and he's prospered. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I began talking about the generational change. It is no secret now that around the time you really entered the business, your father was on the verge of selling out to the going cars. You fought him. You said you were going to stay on. You said your future was in India. You were going to make a go of things, even though he thought India was changing too quickly for honest and decent people to do business. Looking back after all these years, any regrets? No, no regret on the decision. The regret is that in some ways my father was prophetic. Wasn't he? Yeah, and prophetic in the sense that not on the business environment or the opportunity or, you know, India being a great country and we are Indians and we should be here and we should have stayed on. That's, there's no issue. I'm 100% sure that's the decision I took there and I will take for the rest of my life. I'll never leave here. But when he said it would become very difficult to do business here for honest people, the answer is yes, that he was right about. In fact, I think if you ask me candidly, it's worse than he would have imagined. Really? Explain that. Well, simply because, you know, with liberalization, one thought the, the uh, involvement of government and the activity of government in business would diminish. It hasn't. It's increased. Because the richer opportunities in business are still controlled by government. And when they control them, that's where it starts. It's no secret that in the 1980s particularly, you went through a really bad patch. And there was almost a sense that the government was ranged against you. If I remember, at one stage, they even tried to deport you and claimed you weren't an Indian. Union. At that stage, were there regrets? Did you say no, to yourself? No. 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 How because come? there, the issue was... Uh, I didn't agree with what was happening, and as a citizen, I was uh, expressing my own view, and I tied up with, uh, not I tied up, I could say Ramnaji and I worked together, mm. and uh, frankly, the issue was that uh, Ramnaji took on the establishment, and I was a part of that activity, and I have no regrets. But you're probably the only businessman I know who the government has tried to deport, whose business rivals have tried to kill him who's had virtually the entire government of India against him, who's fought back and taken on the government of India. Nothing in your background, born into this nice, genteel Parsi family, suggests that you were capable of doing it. Was it difficult? Well, to start with, you only talked to one half of my family. Yeah, I was going to talk about the other half in the no, second no. part. <laughs> so when you say <laughs> the genteel the genteel half, yeah. I don't know whether, you, whether it is only the genteel half that is in my gene. But it wasn't the Wadia part, surely. Probably not. Probably yeah. not. In the sense that to stand up, mm. uh, I think came substantially from other genes, which are quite controversial at the moment. But anyway, I mean, but that was one of the issues was standing up. Mm. That's what happened in, in, in historically. Did you agree with or disagree with it? And so I suppose some genetic so you think transfer that took place. So do you recognize the genetic genes in you? You think? Hundred yeah. percent. In what way? What do, you think you what do you think I, you inherited I, I think from that? I think one inherits the genes of one family, mm. both sides of the family. 